Hi guys, thank you and welcome back to this week's video. So this week we're going to do this makeup look right here. If you're happy to like this makeup look, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel right down below and follow me on Instagram at bella.c.snow. Let's get started. So just to get started, I'm going to go in with the Ula Henderson Banana Bright Primer. To start out with complexion, I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty. Ooh, ooh, hold on. The Fenty Beauty foundations right here. The color I'm using is 240. I'm also gonna put on top, combined with the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Foundations, go right on top. The, so the brush I'm using is the Sephora Airbrush Foundation Brush Number 55. So I'm just gonna go in really lightweight with this foundation first. So for concealer today, I'm just gonna go in with that's too hard. That's too light. I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD concealer, and the color I'm using is Y23. And this one, you only need like a little bit. And I'm just gonna go in very minimal in concealer, just to brighten up the under eye a little bit. So now I'm just going to go right on top with the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Foundations and the color I'm using is Light Medium 4 and because this color has a slight um, warmer tone I'm like between the Fenty foundation and this foundation so I'm just layering these two together and this one is super light too so you can also layer on top now for contouring, I'm using the Huda Beauty Tan Tour Contouring Cream. And I'm just going to use a stipple brush to blend everything out. Do you know what I got? I got the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Loop Filter. So I'm just going to go ahead and dampen it right here. Gently blend all that out as like a cream highlight. And, like, and lately I've been liking to use like a lipstick So this one. So this one is the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick and the color is in Super Cindy. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this lipstick as like a cream blush. So I'm just going to go ahead and dab a little bit on my cheek before I set out my makeup. So this is going to create like that wind chap or like slightly sunburn. This make your skin look a little bit more healthier. A little bit of color and now I'm just gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush finish flawless finish and the color I'm using is in number two medium so I'm just gonna use this powder to set slightly under my eye and because I'm gonna put a lot of powder later for baking I don't want to put on a lot of powder right now because I don't want it to bake to cake a lot and now for bronzer I'm gonna go in with the Becca bronzer and the color I'm using is in Caprice Coast. And for bronzer brush, I'm using the Morphe M106. So again, I'm just gonna slightly stamp where I want the bronzer to be. Mostly it's to set my contouring because I didn't set around there with the powder. So now I'm just gonna go in with a bronzer, practically just set that same area. And definitely don't forget the ear. And for nose contouring, I'm just going to go again with the Kim and Kwan Sculpting Powder and the color I'm using is in light. So now I'm just going to go in with this Tom Ford Skin Illuminating and the color I'm using is right here. And this palette is in 01 Moonlight. So I'm going to apply this on the highest point of my cheekbone. So this has like more like a bronzer glow to it. So it's not so bright bright highlight so kind of like a transition between your skin color and the bronzer color but still gonna give you like that bronze glow so for the center nose highlight I'm gonna go in with the Bobbi Brown highlighter and the color I'm using it is in pink glow and the brush I'm using is actually a dual end brush from Cobra FX. So now with the clean angle brush, I'm just going to go in and blend out my bronzer and my highlight together. So kind of blending them into one. Just to make sure I don't have a lot of harsh lines, I'm just going to use this clean brush to like swapping up on the side of my nose to making sure that all the powder is all blended. 
So at this point, I like to go in and slightly set my face. I'm just gonna go in with a rose water from Trader Joe. So this one is pretty good and decent one. And usually I don't like to set my face at this point with the setting powder because some, with the setting spray like Urban Decay or the Scandinavia because I don't want my skin to dry out. With the rose water, it's going to keep your skin more hydrated as you layer a little bit more powder right on top. Next up, I'm just going to go in with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. And this step is also optional. You don't have to bake, but I always feel like my face would feel weird if I don't. And also we're gonna use, we're gonna have to do a photo after this. So I always have to bake to make the line a little bit more sharper. But if you're just gonna use this for like throughout the day, just gonna go out real quick, then you just don't have to. And just before I put the bake right on the bottom, I like to go in again with a little bit more bronzer. Just dipping up that area a little bit more. I feel like if I really stamping the color right there, then when I cut it, it's gonna give, give me a little bit more sharper line when you go in with like a baking powder. And now I'm just gonna go in with the Beauty Blender and just gonna cut a line right underneath. And honestly, from the camera, camera point of view, it looks a little bit more dark right now because of the contrast. But once I go outside, sometimes like I look at it and like, damn, I have no makeup on. Hello! Ah! So, it's practically natural makeup. Makeup. No makeup, makeup. But, yeah. So now that you look like you just came out from the 13 girls, including you that make it a 14 girls, let's start the eye makeup. So now with the eye makeup look, I'm just gonna start out with a neutral color. So I'm gonna go in with this color right here and the color is called Universal. And since it's more like a neutral color, I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with my finger. And it doesn't have to be like a perfect blend because I'm using this as like a shadow between my eyes and my brows. So creating the illusion that this is darker to bring out the my brows bone a little bit more. And next up, because I want to have like that perfect straight line right here, I'm just gonna go in with like a scotch tape. Then the second color I'm gonna go in is this color right here called Flux. And with that, I'm just gonna put on the, on the outer corner, right on my crease. And then I always like to bring the color all the way inside into the bridge of my nose. I feel like if I bring it in, it's gonna create a little bit more continuous line. And I slowly move from flux right here into this color all the way down here. And the color is called Fawn. And this palette is from the Morphe Natural Second Nature palette number 3502. And again with the color Fawn, I'm just gonna go ahead and define the crease a little bit more, but moving a little bit lower to my eyelid. They're gonna give you a little bit more warm, warmer, more coffee light color. So after the color font right here, I'm just gonna move over here to the color right here, color rich, to really deepen that area. Really cut my crease with this color. And the brush I'm using is the Sephora Taper Crease Brush number 19. And with that, I'm just gonna slightly do deepen at the end and dry on my crease a little bit more and really deepen and cut it in there. I don't have a lot of crease space, so I'm just gonna look back and I'm cut right into my socket line. So instead of a cut crease, I practically cut a socket. And this is great for more like an Asian eye or more like a hooded eye. Instead of picking out the crease, cut on, cut on the socket line because everybody practically have a socket, hopefully. Using another clean fluffy brush and this brush is number is for a smoky crease brush number 31 So I'm just going to use this brush to blend out all the edges And now using a little bit of concealer and a flat brush I'm just going to go in there to cut the crease This step again, so you don't have to you can just slap on the color But I feel like I'm just want to clean the line So I'm just going to go in with concealer and I'm just going to slightly slowly cut the crease from the inner corner outward. And the easiest way is just to look back and follow your socket line. 
and instantly after I cut the crease I'm just gonna go into set the area with a little bit of powder just make sure that it stay down and it doesn't transfer to my top lid and now I'm just gonna move to the Jim Charles palette and first I'm just gonna move in with this color yellow right here and the color is called B and the brush I'm using is a Sephora number 18 the shader brush and with that, I'm just going to press all the color pigment on the inner corner. So after B, the color right here, I'm just going to move up to this color right here and it's called 518. And with that color, I'm just going to pack on the right, on the center lid. So with that, you're going to slowly see like an ombre effect between the yellow and move slowly into more like a warmer orangey color. Next up, I'm just going to move to this color right here. I feel that it's a little bit more pigment on, on, on the orange tone. So I'm just going to go in with this color and the col color name is Code James. And with that color, I'm just going to pack on right on the center of the eyelid. Transition to the golden color we put on earlier. And I think that color is perfect color. And I'm slowly moving to the outer corner using this color and this is called 10% Hot. With the color 10% up, I'm just going to go right on the outer corner. Just going to slowly blending into the orange color which is placed in the eyelid, on the center of the eyelid. And that's going to be the perfect transition into the shading color from the crease. And then with a fluffy crease brush, I'm just going to go ahead and go and blend the outer corner. So after I blend out all the crease, I did go ahead and put on a wing liner and at first I go in with the color Spooky from the James palette to space out where I want the, the wing to be and then afterward I did went into with a cream base gel liner and the one that I'm using is from Pretty Vulgar and the color is in the ink. And now that my wing is in, now it's time to review the lines. Now I'm just gonna pull, pull out the tape. Not a lot of foundations fall out, but we're gonna finish and blend everything in. So if a little bit scrub off, it's gonna be okay. That is the line from this side. And so far, it's pretty good. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and dust off all my big, finish my complexion, and I'll be right back. There you go, dear. Oh, there you go. You've got your cream and your sugar now. It's a little cappuccino. Okay, so where was I? I was so into doing my makeup, so I lost track of time, and I forgot to turn on the camera, so. So after my wing liner, I did go in and finish my brows using the Sephora brows products and the color I'm using is in soft charcoal. Also for my complexion, I did went in and neutralize everything using my two favorite, the Sephora Big Powder in number 30, combined with the Bobbi Brown Illuminating Powder, Finishing Powder, and the color is in new. So with this two combined, it's gonna create more like soft tone, glowy effect to my skin tone. And since the Sephora collection, big powder have a slight color to it. It's perfect color tint for my skin tone to neutralize and even out everything. And for the Bobbi Brown, it's gonna give you a little bit more luminous to the skin and gonna buff in all your pores and give you a little bit more like a poreless finish. And with that, I also went in and did my under the same color story that I did on the top line, on the bottom line. And I did go ahead and tight line on the bottom line also. And I did put on my contacts. Also, I put on, I curled my lashes and put on my favorite mascara. So the Dior mascara, I'm just prepping my, oops, upside down. <laughs> so the Dior mascara, so this one is the Dior Show number 090. So this one is my favorite mascaras to use all the time. So the highlighter we're using today is actually from the Bobbi Brown again. So this is actually my new favorite uh, highlighter. The color I'm using is in Pink Glow. So the Bobbi Brown highlight is super soft. It's gonna give you more like a wet look rather than a high pigment, high 
glitter look like majority of other highlighter so this more like a neutral soft uh, wet look for the highlighter and also with a smaller shadow brush I'm gonna swipe a little bit of that highlighter and I'm just gonna go right under my brows to keep my under brows that glow and right in the center bridge of my nose and after the highlight I'm just gonna go in with a clean angle brush again to again like before I'm gonna blend out my bronzer area just to blend everything together so there's no harsh line and now that complexion is done I'm just gonna go in with a small brush again with a Bobbi Brown highlighter to put on the cubist bone and for lipstick, I always go in with a lip liner first. And since it's fall, normally the rule is if you have more like a dramatic eye, you go for more like neutral lip. But I think it's fall, so you can just go on really dramatic eyes and really vampy lips. So that's why I'm gonna go in with the Buxom lip liner right here. You can also use this one as a lip liner and the lipstick. So the color I'm using is in Espionage. And for this look, I feel like we're just gonna go with it and go really vampy and now that the lip is on now I'm just gonna go ahead and slap on some blush and the blush I'm using is the Papa Don Peach, Papa Don Peach by um, Too Faced I always love putting on this blush it smells so good make me all kind of hungry And I feel this has like more like orangey, peachy color that is perfect for fall. Give you more like that warm and fuzzy with a slight color. So I'm just gonna put this all over my cheekbone and also gonna bring a little bit to my forehead, creating a C right here because the majority I like the blush color to be like in this area. I don't know why. But I just recently like love that area right here for blush. It's not only here, but I'm gonna bring it all the way up. And that almost finishing up my makeup today, but we're missing one thing. So I went to my PO box today, and a lot of different you guys been DM me about sending me stuff to my address, and I don't want to give out my personal address. So we did went uh, went ahead and opened a business PO box. So I'm just gonna leave my PO box right here and also gonna write down below the PO box address so you guys can send me stuff to try or if a different brand wanna send me anything, DM me and there's the address. And the first thing I got in my PO box is from uh, this one I've been talking to, them, talking to them for a while. So this one is actually from Lashes. From Eden Rose, Eden Rose. So it was lovely enough to send me all these new lashes right here for me to try. And they're super nice and they're super fluffy. So I'm probably gonna use all these lashes in like a future video. For today, I'm just gonna go in and pick one, and now I'm gonna use Jet Setter. So this one is right here. So here is the packaging and take it out once you open it. Here is the lashes from Eden Rose and on the back it say Luxury strip lashes handcrafted and cruelty free, reusable with proper care and you can buy these lashes at www.shopedenrose.com And let me open this one for you. And I love how all the lashes, if you look at them, they're super fluffy. Like, look at it. So really wispy and fluffy at the same time. So we're gonna put on that one today, and this one is called Jet Setter. So for the Eden Rose lashes, so I'm gonna show you like the detail of the lashes right here. So if you can see it is like super lengthy and super wispy and it's super light too. I think this is gonna be my new favorite lashes. Like look at it. Ooh. 
this lash are like super light. Jeez. And even though it's like super long and lengthy, I feel like it's perfect for like fall. It feels like spider legs to me. Like, look at it. It's so lengthy and so wispy. And also it's really comfortable. The band is super soft. So it doesn't like hurt your eyes or like trying to go against the way your, the curve of your eye is. It's like go in there, super soft and you can't feel anything. Like, I feel like this is the most light um, lashes I've been wearing. Like this might be my new favorite. Like honestly, for me personally, it's a little bit too long for me. Like I would trim like a centimeter off because I don't have that much of a lid to use all of it. Like some people would trim it off, but I'm too lazy to do that. So I don't want to like buy the lashes and trim it off. Yeah. So I wish it just like a little bit, a little bit shorter. Just a little bit, little bit shorter. Just a little bit like why do people making lashes so like long? So like this, when you open your eyes, like bing. So I wish it's just a little bit more shorter, but for a lot of girls, I guess they're gonna like it. But for me personally, I still love it because it's super light, it's super wispy. So if you like these lashes, they have a shop online. It's called at Shop Eden Rose right here. I'm not sure if you can see through the plastic, but I'm gonna leave the link right here and also I'm gonna write the link for you to purchase them right down below. Um, I'm not sure they need like all this plastic because I'm not wasting a lot of plastic. But so far the lash is really nice. I love them. A little bit long, but yeah. Ooh. That's how I feel all day. Okay, so the makeup is almost done now. I'm just gonna set everything down. I'm gonna use the Scandinavia, the finishing setting pow setting spray to set everything. Now just to finish up this look, I'm gonna go in with the Sephora Collection Lip Stain. And this one is in number 14. So this is everybody's favorite for fall. It is called Blackberry Sorbet. And for me, this has like a perfect vampy purple color to it. Okay guys, so this is the final makeup look inspired by the Fall Pumpkin Spice and Vixen Glam. Hope you like this makeup look. If you love this makeup look, don't forget to write me a comment right down below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel right here. And ring the bell button for notification of next week's video. I will post on YouTube every Saturday, also on IGTV every Sunday. Even though I've been thinking I might changing the day into posting on Wednesday or Thursday, but I will let you know maybe next time. Follow me on Instagram and I'll let you know which day is posting next. But for now, it's Saturday and Sunday. And also don't forget to follow me on all my social media at bella.c.snow. One last thing, one last thing. Pumpkin spice latte. Perfect. See you next week. Bye bye.